give you a better picture of Jimmy Carter than I knew. He was as close to a Renaissance man as we've had in the presidency, maybe since Thomas Jefferson. Why do I say that? First, he was a great public servant. He served in the nuclear Navy. He was the head of his county school board. He was a state senator, governor, and president. Second, he was a very accomplished painter. He was a preacher. He was a poet and author of over 20 books. Um, he was a great and world-class fly fisherman. He was a great woodworker. In fact, the giant cross in the Maranatha Baptist Church in Plains at which he preached was made by Jimmy Carter. He made excellent furniture, uh, some of which is still in the Carter Center. So he was really a man for all seasons in Thomas Bull's words, uh, uh, a, a complete person and also a great, of course, humanitarian building with Rosalind over 43 homes for Habitat, starting the Carter Center, which was a real innovation at the time they deemed. Presidents had had presidential libraries, but he went beyond that to create an active, engaged center. And President George W. Bush, President Clinton have followed that. He helped monitor over 100 democratic elections. Uh, he did conflict resolution in places like Bosnia and Haiti. Um, he cured, along with a couple of pharmaceutical companies, two African diseases, guinea worm and uh, river blindness. So he made this an active and engaged presidential center, taking advantage of his presidential credentials and continuing many of the things he had worked on in the White House. So he never stopped. He just kept going. Uh, 